That's the final five minutes of free practice too here at the TT circuit. Assen, uh, Jonathan Ray just completing another lap for him. So uh, he's extending his uh, last stint a little bit as well. Yeah, and for Jonathan, it's another lap within a tenth of a second or a few hundredths of a second of his fastest lap. So Ray's being consistent as well. And uh, that's what you want to see. You want to see those riders at the front able to grind out the laps, make sure that they're as competitive as possible for the race conditions, because we know over a single lap how much can change. We know that it's hooking up that one perfect lap. Jonathan Ray's fantastic at that now. We've seen it over the last few years, how good he is in qualifying, that, in qualifying mode. When you look at Top Rack, his performance in Super Bowl sessions has really improved over the last few years. Bautista's always quick for a single lap. So all those riders are going to give themselves a real chance of being right at the front of the field. And then it's who else does a good job. Garrett Gerloff's up there, fourth fastest at the moment, fifth fastest on the combined times as well. If Gerloff's able to qualify in the front two rows of the grid, he can be right there in the battle all the way through this weekend. So really important for everyone to make sure that they've got all their boxes ticked. And that means Super Bowl has to go well. You have to have done a decent run in this session as well to give yourself a chance and then see what happens whenever you wind it on at the end of the session. We were just talking about Ronaldo a few moments ago. A little bit disappointing in terms of his pace, his speed in this session. He had been 11 fastest, puts in a new tyre, immediately goes up to fourth fastest. The teams have a slightly different allocation from Pirelli for this year. They've lost a couple of front tyres, they've lost a, a rear tyre as well from their allocation. So sometimes what we've seen is that riders have had to keep their powder dry in free practice sessions. In this morning session, there was a few riders out there on the harder tyre that suffered from a cold tear, just with the low, con low track temperatures, and uh, they had to suffer through that during the session, rather than try and use a fresh tyre when you don't really want to use that when it's not at an optimal time to be able to get good benefit from it. Another new personal best time, that uh, from Jonathan Ray, 1 minute 34.680, uh, good news for him. His teammate Alex Lowe is also on for an improved lap. We uh, pick up the number 22 Kawasaki now. He's just making his way in towards the uh, Gear Timmer curve and the uh, final chicane at the end of the lap. Free practice too, just over two and a half minutes on the clock. Uh, Lowe's 11th position as things stand in FP2. I think he's going to make a great deal of progress from there. He does. It's up to P3 at 1 minute 34.772 and faster than he went this morning as well. So uh, Alex Lowe's with a strong late lap uh, gets in between his, his uh, teammate uh, Jonathan Ray and uh, here the uh, reigning world champion Top Rack Raz Gatlioglu. Top Rack is making his way out onto the circuit. Um, two and a half minutes, I'd say that's time enough to uh, get in a, a fast lap at the end for us. Yeah, two fast laps coming up for top rack at the end of the session potentially and uh, we saw those come through the line there as well he's a tenth of a second slower than his teammate Jonathan Ray but we saw at the end of last season what he can do over a single lap with his speed to be able to, to go out there in a super pole session put it on the front row of the grid despite all of his injuries in Jerez so we know over a single lap he can do it and over the winter he's been focused on those longer runs as well it seemed that he was one of the riders that suffered from that issue with the, the rear tyres in this morning session so that's a good indication of where Kawasaki are right now because what you want to look at with all these manufacturers is where are their second and third riders that gives you a real indication of the packing order and whenever you've got two Kawasaki's up inside the top three two Ducati's inside the top five two Yamaha's inside the top six it really does set up nicely just one and a half minutes remaining on the clock. Uh, quick update from Yamaha from Dave. Yes, there was quite a bit of a discussion in Toprak's pit box uh, before the world champion went back out on track. It looked at one stage if the, they were uncertain he was going to go back out, but he has, and he's on uh, the X tyre, the uh, red label tyre, so clearly going uh, all out to try and go top of the times in the final minute. Thanks, Dave. Uh, that's what we were hoping for, the, uh, the news that Top Rack would uh, make his way back out onto the track. He's uh, just completed, uh, completing his installation lap, and he'll be up and running for a flying lap. He's still got uh, just less than a minute on the clock, so he will get a, a fast time in at the end here. Uh, this is Andrea Locatelli, of course, his teammate Locatelli with a new personal best there, 1 minute 35.366. So to set us up for the final moments, we've got Bautista, 134.382. Ray 134.680, just under three tenths of a second down. Lowe's just under four tenths of a second down. Top rack Raz Gatlioglu fourth. Then it's Garrett Gerloff, new personal best. He's just crossed the line there, the number 31, as you can see on your screens. Six tenths down on Bautista, but only two tenths down on Raz Gatlioglu. Rinaldi sixth, Baz Locatelli, Lekuona, and Bassani as things stand, rounding out your top ten. And Scott Redding uh, back up and running in this session. He is 11th. So from here on in, the chequered flag about to fall, I suppose. 
suppose it's all about what uh, Top Rat can do. Doesn't look, though, as though he's uh, going to be able to improve on his uh, previous best. So uh, perhaps not quite the enthusiasm for a flying lap at the end of the session. Yeah, but for Top Rat, he's at least able to go out, do a practice start at the end of the session. Just look at the lap counters for everyone. 24 laps in this session for Top Rack. The exact same as Alvaro Bautista. So Bautista's done a good job of being able to get a lot of miles in this session, but Top Rack did them all consecutively. Yes, uh, an incredible run it was, and that's what we'll be talking about, even if the headlines uh, leave Raz Gatlioglu in fourth position. Uh, Jonathan Ray's going to go for one flying lap at the end here, see if he can unseat Bautista from the top of the free practice two times. We never really got to see uh, Jonathan Ray with an all-out attack in FP1. He uh, finished fifth, but didn't uh, uh, didn't use the uh, softer uh, of the most commonly used tyres for free practice sessions. So uh, we might see something late on here in FP2. Lock Telly across the line again, again on for a personal best, again sets one at 135.398. So strong finish to the session for Andrea Locatelli.